Yo, 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 it's time for cult career mode. But not the cult career mode you're used to seeing. Cult career mode with Jack Foster. 8455. Cult with uh, a different person and a teammate from Williams. If you can remember all the way to last time out at Emoire, we got a P5 uh, with front wing damage, which was immense. This lap's going quite well, by the way. And I'm breaking down to turn 4 purple centre, apparently, but a bit deep into there. <coughs> yeah. We scored points in Bahrain. Could have got a top 4 at Australia, but then didn't DNF. And then got a top five in Imola. So I'm hoping for points today. I'm hoping to continue our decent form. Apart from the DNF, but we're on for a few anyway. Hoping to continue our decent form. We are the eighth best car, so not great. Yeah, hoping to continue our form. Um, push on. Get some more solid points for the Williams team. One thing to note, Jack does have his practice engines in for quality because of the restart glitch, you know, a glitch in F123, I don't think anyone's surprised, up to the line, it's been an all right lap, E10, not bad, not bad, on to the second climb lap now, around the final corner, getting a much better run up to the line, as you can see, already starting to take time off the previous lap, and with that, breaking so on, Neat, nice, turn two, up by a tenth, through turn three, really hold on the throttle as fast as you can. Two tenths gained, through turn four, not deep, nice, using all the track possible can, get on the power at just the right moment. Four tenths up, through here, a bit early on the brakes, and we've on the brakes a little bit later, was four and a half tenths up, now only three and a half tenths up, into this corner, we break, nice apex. Beginning of the slide though, and that could have lost us half a tenth to a tenth, to so half a second up though. Now through camps at corner, it's six and a half. Tents up, we turn ten, not bad, not bad. It's almost seven tenths, we turn on eleven, I think. And nice seven tenths, using all the exit I can. Run over the curb, breaking, come back over. Seven and a bit tenths. It's lost a bit of time in the final corner, but it's P5. That's a stonking lap for Williams. P5. It should be a wet race though, so we'll see what that brings. And I just want to say to everyone, thanks for the continued support. If you look at the community post I put out yesterday, because I put out one today that we can play SCR again. So if you want to watch that, then let me know. Both Mercedes, both Ferraris, me, both Red Bulls, both McLarens, Jack down the 20th. But yeah, check the community begin, post out. Let's take a quick look at the grid line. Support's been insane. An immense lap from Lewis Hamilton yesterday puts him on pole position. Just ahead of George Russell, who starts this event from P2. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Leclerc, Sainz, Baxter, Perez. Verstappen, Oscar Piastri, Norris, Bottas, Fernando Alonso, Hulkenberg, Joe, Stroll, Sonoda, Gasly, Magnussen, Ricardo, Ocon, and James. And we well, first and foremost, I'm... Holy mother of rain, is it wet? Bloody hell. We're going to need a boat to get through these conditions. And I absolutely okay, messed up the grid, the grid, the grid slot. You're gonna need formation because I don't think I'm okay, so that's the rest of the great at that, to be patient and watch for those lights. I could never perfect it. Two Ferraris in front, two Red Bulls behind. Red Bull got a bit of a stinker to say this is season one. So they should have the best car. Five red lights. Lights on away we go. It's not a bad start considering how far back we were. Use a bit of VRS, get past one of the Ferraris. Up to P6, the first have a stinker. Try and get in the situation of the aisle, but can't because Perez is there. Round the outside of one, maybe two. 
No, maybe one. Let me get the Ferrari, science, through turn three. Bit of lift off. No, science has got us. Big snap as well. Perez is even flying us. Perez could get us as we have a replay of the start. Five red lights, and it was lights out and away we go, and just, you can just see that Ferrari has an absolute stinker. Quite a few cars get off to a good one. Jack just sits back, to be honest. He just sits quite far back. Yeah, as we nearly break off our wing down to turn one because of skid issue. Around the outside of Carlos Science. It was very slippery, this track. Like, it was already quite slippery in qualifying. It's very slippy in inters, but we should be quite fast. As you have a replay on that for me and Perez squabbling. We should be quite fast because we've gone for 46 on the front wing and 39 on the rear wing. As you see on that too, Charles Perez going past me even while I was using the RS. And Jack got wing damage. Yep, there you go, around the outside. But down inside, Charles Perez gets us. You have to say a Perez has us on lap 5. Now back to the replays of lap 5. Further into lap 5 I guess. So we're coming through set 2, just staying close to Perez, not too far away. Now the staff is going to get us. Trying to push him all the way. But yeah, he gets us. Lag spike, hold it. Max for staff has had a bit of a nightmare. Fastest tyre for now. And 10 minutes isn't a long time. As Max Verstappen goes down the inside, through to turn one, so there's nothing I can do to convert that Red Bull. Daniel Ricciardo is out of the session, I believe he said 5 minutes, 10 okay, minutes of rain. And we red have a flag. red flag. Red flag. I have no it's idea what for, but all I know is we have a red flag. Will it be dries by the time we resume? Will it be dries? Let's see. No, it's still going to be inters, but it's not going to be raining for too much longer. I wish we could go dries on the start like this. I wish we could go dries. As we go to advance, we see a replay of the start because I don't have any footage from it for some reason, which is annoying, but it slides out and away we go on lap 12. It's not a bad start from us from P7, really not bad, using ERS, but still P7, down the inside of the Red Bulls and the Ferraris, it's up to P3. As Carlos Sainz just goes there, thank God for the F1 ghosting system. Otherwise, we'd be spun out and in a wall about 12 times. As people start pitting for dryers, as we lost our P3 place, to be honest. Pitting one lapper or two lap earlier than the AI massively hurt us. It might be just because they're in a quicker car, to be fair. Maybe not so much to do that I made the wrong decision as we come out ahead of Leclerc, so we lost a place to Verstappen and Sainz, but that might be because they have quick cars, rather than I made the wrong call. So on lap 21 you can see we're still sticking with Verstappen, uh, Perez for now, because Perez has got us, and Leclerc's going to go for us maybe. Lap 23, yeah, Leclerc and Perez started fighting, we're P7. Trying to save battery. I don't know why it looks so wet on this replay cam because it definitely wasn't that wet. It definitely wasn't that wet. As you can see sparks come off the car through the final corner. Perez set the fast stuff in that 20 and there's an onboard shot of us going past the Ferrari. We desperately need an ERS upgrade or two. Nice. Perez goes past us. Leclerc is going to go past us. I wanted to try and see if he'd wait to get the RS and Perez and then he could try and go past us, but no. The Astri is quick, but I'm trying to save battery. I'm trying to save battery to the point where I can... Yeah, oh my god. 
The lungs have since on me, I broke, and now we've had a lag spike, and Piastri done that, and he's barely bit the eye. So I just need to burn all the battery I saved, and by lap 33, we're going back past Piastri. We actually did lose the RS for like 3 4 laps, but then I got back in it and started lifting off to save the battery. And also, I don't want him to go past me on the last lap. So Lewis Hamilton wins. And we come across the line for P7 and more points for Williams. So, Natalie, what made the difference out there today? Well, confidence breeds confidence. Success breeds success. They are very much enjoying a purple patch right now. Mercedes are on top form once again after an excellent race weekend. It's great to see them up on that podium once again. Podium pass level 16. I mean, who actually cares about the podium pass in F123? Anyway, more points, more points for Williams. Jack, unfortunately, DNF in with a few laps to go. Nothing he could really do. His race went shocking to be fair. P8 in the Drivers' Championship and P5 in the Constructors because Aston Martin have had a howler this season. Hopefully, we can keep building on that, keep pushing on that. We have I think two or three upgrades for the next race, so hopefully, hopefully we can massively build and massively start pushing. Anyway, yeah, McLaren, Lando only got 10th. Just checking mine and Jack's pace. I was doing 23s, 24s in the wets. I was doing like well, it's quite hard to tell on the drive, but I'd say like 16s. 16s. What was Jack doing? Was he doing 24s or 25s? Yeah, he could do. He was definitely not doing 16s in the drive, let me tell you that much. Yeah, so Jack was a bit off this weekend, but he was always fighting people like Joe or some people slower than that, so... Yeah, a tough race for them, but a good race for us. Let's keep building. Get more rivalry points on Joe, but I knew that will massively help in driver acclaim, which we gained a massive amount in this race. Gearbox durability upgrade, because, you know. And Fernando Alonso is retiring from sport after the end of season one. As we do customization, because I'm going to make a new driver's helmet two of the new helmets I got I, which I bought using my Bitcoin because that's the only good thing about Bitcoin in this game I'm going to use this helmet because I feel like this helmet's quite nice I'm going to add Williams colours but also add my purple into it like that I think that looks quite cool what do you think what do you think anyway can we get the new ignition system major engine power upgrade which will unlock ERS upgrade. Nice. Yeah, that's really nice. Our new parts have completed without issue. They'll be on the car ready for the next race. We've weekend. jumped Haas. We're now the seventh best team. And soon, maybe, we'll be on pace with Aston Martin and Alpine. Make sure you like, subscribe. Never miss another upload. Keep supporting. It's massively appreciated. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.